Are you serious? Are you serious? Did Antifa, did Antifa, did they derail the train in Washington State? Now, I was all over this first thing this morning. We covered it live during our live broadcast, and we will visit this tonight on Prime Time Live. It starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. But according to reports, uh, Alex Jones is saying that according to the Twitter account of Antifa, they admitted to sabotaging railways by uh, and creating chaos. Now, that's according to Alex Jones. There is an article out also that uh, from the New York Post saying an object was on the tracks and may be the cause of the deadly Amtrak derailment. Six people are dead, 77 are injured. Uh, according to the reports, the deadly Amtrak train derailment, the first, it's the inaugural uh, run of this train, brand new Amtrak 501, appears to have been caused by an object on the railway. Now, you guys remember this morning, I said, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. It feels like sabotage. And I even said that before anyone else even brought anything forward. It's because it's just, it's Monday morning rush hour and it happens right over the I-5. Listen, that's the cons- the uh, circumstance is not uh, uh, something that would just be an accident. This looked like, felt like sabotage. Well, the preliminary investigations suggest maintenance problems are very unlikely to blame because the incident took place on the brand new tracks. The official told the Associated Press uh, at least six people are dead. The death toll is death toll is expected to rise. Right now, six dead, 77 injured. The Amtrak 501 plunged off the overpass at the I-5 near Lacey, Washington, not far from Lakewood, Washington, just south of Tacoma, Washington, between Tacoma and uh, Olympia. And this was a absolute, the first ever, this is the inaugural run between Seattle, Washington, and Portland, Oregon. This $181 million project uh, ends in a catastrophe, but it looks like sabotage. Even the President of the United States is concerned that there is sabotage involved. Matter of fact, we have a report here. Um, Give me one second. Let me pull it back up again. And, uh, and over at the zerohedge.com, they're reporting deadly train derailment likely caused by an object placed on the tracks. That's also according to the Associated Press. Their reporting officials have arrived at this conclusion following a brief investigation. A preliminary indication suggests maintenance problems are very unlikely to blame because the incident took place on a brand new tracks. Uh, during the afternoon briefing of, on his national security strategy, President Donald Trump expressed our deepest sympathies and most heartfelt prayers for the victims, adding, we are closely monitoring this situation and coordinating with local authorities. But now, folks, there is some more reports here, uh, and that is comments from one local mayor who warned that the Amtrak project could jeopardize the safety of of the local are picking up more traction. As the day goes on, we first noticed that the comments from the Lakewood Washington mayor, Don Anderson, said is it turns out Anderson has raised safety concerns over the new itinerary, even predicting earlier this month that the new faster route would lead to fatal accidents. Anderson has raised safety concerns over the new itinerary, and he predicted this could happen. A local official has reportedly told the Associated Press that preliminary signs suggest that the Amtrak train may have struck something on the track just before derailing. To cap, there's been 78 passengers on board and five crew members. The train was moving at 80 miles an hour. It derailed about 40 miles south of Seattle. Trump offered more words of support for the victims today. And, uh, of course, the National Transportation and Safety Bureau is all over this. Uh, uh, There's unbelievable situation. Uh, Donald Trump tweeting, very, very concerned for all the people involved. But we do have a situation where uh, Antifa, 
uh, is, of course, because they had made these uh, statements on their Twitter account that they would be they would be out sabotaging train tracks. You can't help but ask the question, do we look into Antifa? Do we look into them? Well, of course you have to look at them since they tweeted these things and bragged that they would do these things. So we're watching closely now to what will be the response by Antifa. Will they deny it? Will they claim credit for it since they said they were going to do such things? Or will, they, uh, will there be some other reason behind the, the, the crash But it's very, very disturbing uh, to even have anybody make a comment that they would be going out and doing this. I've been saying, I don't know who did this, but I've been saying that I've been very concerned that the wildfires in California are the work of ISIS sleeper cells in the United States because it's strategically where those uh, fires were started and uh, how that the perfect position for the Santa Ana winds to blow them also can do the most damage at some of the more uh, upscale and uh, expensive homes and and areas uh, and subdivisions and neighborhoods. It just seemed like it would do the most costly damage uh, to the economy. So there's a lot going on here, folks. I don't know. We're going to we're going to wait and see. Alex Jones, though, breaking the story that Antifa on their Twitter account had already said they were going to be derailing trains as an act of defiance against the president of the United States. That doesn't mean they did this, but it does mean you have to look at and find out. We know something was on the track, brand new track, something so significant that it derailed the train and people lost their lives. Well, I'm going to be taking a close look at this. We're going to find out what's going on. Um, are you serious? Are you serious? Pray for the families of the victims who have died in this tragic derailment and also pray for the injured. Some are very critical. Please pray and pray that the, uh, if, if this was sabotaged, that those who did such a horrific thing will be identified and brought to justice. Are you serious? We're living in the last days and this country is on edge. It's on edge. Are you saved? Are you prepared? Give your life to Jesus Christ and get prepared.